Hi, Gary here. You know, if you're getting close to retirement, if you ever heard somebody say, hey, Gary, you should retire. Or if they're not saying that, maybe you're thinking that. Why? Well, you've been there a long time. You're old enough. You have enough. And you had enough. And you want to be out of there. Uh, but it still feels like it's not right. You know, you get up every day. You keep going to work. It's kind of the same routine. It's kind of hard to make a change. And that's what really this is about, is making change and putting in the context really of this retirement transition change. Uh, but it, it goes for other areas as well, changes in our lives. But I want to illustrate this in uh, a little bit of a different way and help you think about it somewhat differently. So as you're seeing here, we have three things. First, we have the elephant. The elephant is really about your motivation, your passion, and your engine. It's really your heart. It's where everything just gets done. Next, we have the rider. Now, the rider is where you understand. It's where you see and direct. It's really all about thinking. It's about your head. So we have the heart and the head. And finally, we have the environment. You know, we need a path. Why? Because the environment is a very tough place. You know, the tiger's trying to knock you off, the elephant and uh, the snake's trying to bite you and so forth. So these three main elements are very important to consider when we have change. Well, how does it go when it doesn't work well? Well, when our elephant is out of control, that's when we're just kind of running around and being run totally by our emotions. And that happens to all of us at life at different times. And it's brought about by many, many different things. Um, if the rider doesn't get engaged, what happens? Lots of getting ready to get ready to get ready, thinking about it, researching and so forth, but no action is taking place. Just a lot of mental activity, but no action. And finally, that environment. It's so hard sometimes to work in our environment, we just give up and go back to what we were doing. Now, the real keys to this, really, if you just really think it through, is you wanna direct the rider, motivate the elephant, and shape the path. Now this is something I took from a book called Switch, um, How to Change Things When Change is Hard. It's by Chip and Dan Heath, came out a few years ago. But I think they just did a masterful job of walking through change with all of us, be it a pre-retiree or anything else that we have change in life. And this illustration of the rider and the elephant in the environment, having all three things in place, we have a much, much higher probability of going through this very smoothly, effectively, in a timely manner, where it feels comfortable uh, at least getting through all of this. Now, uh, for something you to take away, uh, the last observer, uh, which was posted in June online, and you can see it here with the link, is called Structure Freedom, something along the same line, a little differently, but may help you out there. Also, there's a book you can read uh, that is very applicable to pre-retirees. It's called Younger Next Year, written by two authors here, a gentleman about seven years old named Chris Crowley, who went through retirement, and his doctor, and at that time was in his late 40s, a Dr. Henry Lodge. There's a female version for the book and a male version for the book. Very good book, and if you're in that mode where you're looking at retirement coming up soon, not a bad thing to read to help you get your arms around a little better. So until next time, enjoy.